Potentiometer kit consists of um, a circuit board um, with a linear potentiometer and it's got the connectors that connects uh, into your pedal wiring loom. There's the there's an aluminium wiper which is what uh, moves up and down on the potentiometer and then there's some hardware and a 1.5 millimeter hex key. To fit the potentiometer to your um, pedal the first thing you need to do is to strip down the pedal unit. Um, so a good place to start is to remove this bolt here so you'll need a 10 millimeter spanner and a 5 millimeter hex key. Okay, you can remove these two bearings. Okay, and then if you get a screwdriver, and then you can remove this screw here, or just loosen it off, and you can remove this gear. Okay. And then we need to remove this gear and the potentiometer. So to remove the gear, you have to take off this um, kind of spring washer thing. Um, I find the best way I find to remove these is to use a thin bladed screwdriver. Okay, so bend that bit of screwdriver under there and bend the tab back, and then this should just come off. There we go. And then that allows you to remove the gear and, sp and the spring. Get that out. Okay. And then the potentiometer is held in with um, an 11 millimeter nut or it's the same as um, 7 sixteenths of an inch. The next step is to attach the aluminium wiper to uh, this part. It locates in this slot and against this face here and it's machined to just fit snugly like that. So what you need to do next is to um, put a washer there. And then use one of the screws. And then the next one, so a washer there. screw in okay now before you tighten the screws just make sure that this is located correctly and then carefully tighten up the, the screws with the hex key um, make sure you don't over tighten the screws because it will strip the threads in the aluminium wiper Okay, it should now look like that. The next step is to attach the um, the hex spacers to the circuit board. So if you get one of the screws, put it through from the back, and then screw one of the spacers on, and then repeat again for the bottom hole, so through the back. Okay, and then it's probably a good idea to just tighten these screws up. 
being careful not to damage the potentiometer or the tracks and the uh, connectors. Okay. Okay, right, we're ready to start putting the pedal back together now. So we make sure the bearings are in. And then if you fit that in there, and then you can refit your spring. Okay, and line up the holes. And get the bolt in. Okay, you don't want to tighten this up too tight. You want it so you can rotate it. Um, so that's a little bit too tight. You just slacken it off slightly. So just so you can, you know, just about move bolt with a the screw with a hex key okay okay so we're ready to um, fit the circuit board now so it's going to go in this orientation so the writing horizontal and the potentiometer in a vertical position and it's going to go in through the back and then into this position And then if you get the screws in to the through these two holes. Okay, and before you tighten them up, just push the circuit board down so it it's flush against the, the, the bottom of the the pedal unit and then just Tighten these screws up. And then that's it. You've got your positive for the uh, red wire and then the negative on the for the black wire. And then in the center, it's the uh, signal. So it's marked as white on the board, but the, oh, it's also the orange and green wire, depending on which pedal it is that you're using. Um, and that's it. We're back in business.